Good morning, guys. It is Monday, Victoria Day weekend. It's a long weekend here in Canada, and uh, we're just getting ready to head into town to do a little bit of shopping. Hopefully, we can find some stores that are open. Don't stop. Weekend's over, that means all the weekenders have pulled their campers out. Still a lot of people around though, just the same. All the seasonal guys still here. So today being a holiday in Canada, it is not in the US, not until next weekend. I went over to my post office box and I found that this had come in. This is the second half of my Burley Boy order of beard products. And because of the mix up, they did say in a personal note, handwritten, in the first one that I got, that because of the back order of the product that I had actually ordered, they were going to send me uh, a couple of freebies to try out. And one of them, as soon as I opened it, was this little wooden spoon. Which most people would think, oh, why would you need a wooden spoon for beard products? Well, the first part of my order was beard balm. And that stuff is, is kind of a hard product. And I found that using a coin to scoop it out and then put it on my hands and rub it in was useful. Uh, but so is this. So they provided me with this little wooden spoon to scoop out some of the product, apply it uh, to my hands, rub it in. So that was no charge. Pretty good gesture. Thanks a lot, guys, for doing that. The second freebie that they sent me was a small sample size of the Aussie Breeze Beard Balm. So this is basically the same as the product that I already have only in a different scent and let's open her up and see what she smells like. I think I just lost my daylight. Yeah, it's not bad, it's pretty more of a subtle smell compared to the bourbon breeze uh, or bourbon and barrel uh, stuff that I got the first time but nevertheless this is going to be a good product to keep right down here at the trailer because uh, that way I don't have to bring it back and forth every time I travel. So, wooden spoon and beard balm. The product that I actually ordered was the Cinder and Smoke Beard Butter. It's, it's supposed to smell really good. It's a popular product, that's why they were out. So, we're going to crack into this and see what she smells like. I can smell it already. Oh boy. So there's the product. It's more creamy than the other beard balm. But today, down here at the trailer, I didn't have anything to put into my beard. So this morning, I said, well, if they're open, I'm going to check and see if uh, my product has come in, and if it has, I'm going to be able to try it uh, firsthand to see what this product, man, I can't get over the smell. It smells amazing. So I've never used a beard butter in comparison to a beard balm until today. So we're going to try it out right now. I have no idea how much I'm supposed to use, so I'm just going to take what's on the lid, or the little protective cover there, rub it in. Man, this stuff smells amazing. Loose whiskers falling out. Good thing it's just the gray ones. Bam. That stuff smells awesome. Almost like a cologne. And if this product does 
absolutely nothing for me at the very least. It smells awesome. Better than the first product, I think. Anyways, we're going to try this stuff out for a couple of days as opposed to the beer bomb and see how we make out. And I will report back to you. So again, thank you for sending me some of this, uh, some of these freebies for the little bit of an inconvenience of not getting my order all together. But I completely understand when you're an up and coming company uh, trying to break into this market. Um, sometimes you just don't realize how uh, how good your products are going to be and how well they're going to sell. So uh, definitely at this point in time, I have to give you guys a two thumbs up. Thanks again, and uh, their link will be. Uh, their Instagram link will be right here and I will put their website information in the description below. Well guys, I just bought myself a car. Anybody care to take a guess what it is? It's obviously a GM and uh, if you think you know what it is, Leave Stop. your comments in the comment section below. And we're gonna go out and reveal it here in just a second. So I'll give you a little bit of a hint. These cars, back in their day, were generally sought after by older people. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. So, not that they weren't good cars, but as a rule, they were sought after by older people. Uh, it's a 2002, and the people who had it people who had it cared enough for it after all these years to keep Michelin tires on the car and one of the things that this car is that makes this car special is the amount of kilometers or the amount of mileage that it has on it you just don't find cars in this kind of shape very often. So, should we show them what it is, kiddo? Yeah. You can see behind me a 2002 Buick Regal with like no mileage on it. Check this car out. And the biggest reason why I bought the car is because I like it. This is likely going to be my summer driver. We sold the uh, Pathfinder the other day. So, exchange one blue car for another, and uh, this will be my ride for the summer. So Junior says he wants to take it for a cruise and see how it works, so don't burn the tires off and don't waste all my gas. Oh, your gas? Why now. However, unfortunately, no supercharger. It surprises me that an 18-year-old boy I love these kind of cars. is nerding out over a Buick Regal. I love these cars, especially when you can find them in good shape like this. Especially around here. Power windows, power locks. Well, go take it for a quick rip and you can get back here and finish up your work. All right. And don't squeal the tires. What a nerd. Told him not to squeal the tires, he squeals the tires. Kids. an old man truck maybe he wants an old man car well this is my first official drive as the owner of this new buick so let's take her for a rip no lights on other than fast and seat belt 111 962 we're gonna go down to the gas station, put some fuel in it, and get some lunch. I can't honestly say I don't know where Alex gets his 
enthusiasm for old cars or especially something like this Buick but I do because I'm the same way I always was when I was a kid I always wanted the bigger cars and the old man cars and all that sort of thing but uh, even even my old Cordoba that's not something a young fellow wants to go out and buy doesn't aspire to own a Cordoba but nonetheless I have one and uh, uh, I've sank countless amounts of money into that car to make it my own but This car is 16 years old, works like a brand new one. There's no squeaks or rattles. Uh, the motor, it, it, the power is just, it's right there. And these old 3.8s, it's, it's, it surprises me that GM didn't focus more on that motor uh, in their current lineup because it was, it was a tank. It was a, it was a really good motor, made lots of power fairly fuel efficient and uh, you know they just work so good but when GM has a good thing they usually stop it because why well it doesn't make them any money in the parts department afterwards but uh, yeah AC blows nice and cold she's a beaut I really do like this car we did have it into the shop yesterday before we bought it, before we made the offer on it. Get up in the air, really good shape. Um, as I mentioned before, the tires are like, probably about uh, half tread or so, but they are Michelin, so there's lots of tread left on them. The um, oil change has been done recently. It's uh, got new brakes, pads, and rotors all the way around. Looks like they were done right. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty struck with this car. Believe it or not. So we're just gonna pull into the Irving here, put some gas into it, and then uh, and then we'll grab some lunch. And I don't know where the gas door is on this old thing. It's old enough that it doesn't tell you. So I guess I'm gonna have to pull up because all the pumps are being used anyway. So I'll pull up and do a little walk around, find out where the gas door is on this thing take a spot look like an idiot have to pull away it is on the driver's side and there's a spot available right here but that Jeep didn't see so haha huh, I got it so who can remember when you needed two keys for your car one for the ignition and one for the doors yep I remember that so overall, to say the least, I'm impressed with this car. It uh, has all kinds of acceleration, like I said, and uh, fuel economy seems to be pretty good as well. I just put $65 in it, and I shouldn't have any problem getting, uh, uh, you know, fairly good fuel mileage out of it. I will record that as I'll be driving this all weekend, and uh, we'll see how uh, how the fuel economy is. But. I really like the car. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below uh, if you like a Buick. Uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Either way, shoot us a message and uh, open up some discussion on this car. Well guys, after driving the Buick all weekend, I managed to get about uh, 200 kilometers on it, probably about 125 or 30 miles. And it's just barely come off of the full mark on the gas gauge. The little computer on it has been telling me I've been averaging about 22 miles to the US gallon, which works out to something like probably 26 or 7 miles uh, to the Canadian gallon. So, all in all, for a V6 as big as it is, it seems to have pretty good power. But uh, I think I'm really going to enjoy driving this car for the summer. Anyways, thank you guys so much for subscribing to this channel. If you like what you see, please give us a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, thanks again, and we will see you in the next upload.
Stop.